So for this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this absolutely adorable Winnie the Pooh plushie. You can use any yarn thickness for this tutorial, but the thicker the yarn, the bigger the plushie. For this tutorial, I'm using a 2.5 hook because I'm using a DK yarn, so I've sized down 1.5 hook sizes. Start by making a magic circle. If you don't know how to make a magic circle, there's many tutorials that you can watch online. And I can link some down below for your convenience. Once you've got your magic circle, chain one, and then work six single crochet stitches into the magic circle. Tighten your magic circle by pulling on the short end before continuing. For your second row, you want to put one increase into each of the six stitches that we already have. An increase is made by putting two single crochet stitches in the space of one stitch, which means we double the amount of stitches that we already have, which leaves us with 12 stitches overall. For row number three, we start with one single crochet stitch. And then in our next stitch, we work one increase. And then we repeat this pattern for a total of six times, leaving us with 18 stitches total. Row 4 starts with a single crochet stitch and a second single crochet stitch. Then in the next stitch we create an increase. And we repeat this for a total of 6 times, leaving us with 24 stitches. For row number 5, we start with one single crochet stitch. In the next stitch, we create one increase. Then we repeat the pattern of one, two, three single crochet stitches. Then in the next stitch, we create an increase. We repeat this pattern five times. And then in the last two stitches, we finish with one single crochet stitch in each stitch. For row number six, we create the pattern of four single crochet stitches. And then in the next stitch, we create an increase. And we continue this pattern for a total of six times, leaving us with 36 stitches overall. For row seven, we do 12 single crochet stitches. Then we do one increase. After the increase, we do five single crochet stitches and we repeat from one increase to five single crochet stitches four times for a total of 40 stitches overall. Row number eight starts with three single crochet stitches. And then a decrease. Here we go in only the front loops of two stitches 
to create an invisible crochet decrease. If you don't know how to do one of these decreases, I'll leave a video down below. Do one, two single crochet stitches and then again go through the two front loops of the next two stitches, pull through and finish off as a single crochet stitch as normal for your decrease. Now we're going to create three more single crochet stitches. And then we create an increase in the next stitch. And then six single crochet stitches. And we repeat from one increase to six single crochet stitches for a total of four times. Leaving us with a total of 42 stitches overall. Rows 9 and 10 are relatively simple. We just continue doing one single crochet stitch in each stitch. Meaning we do 42 single crochet stitches for the next two rows. For row number 11, we're going to start with 13 crochet stitches. Then we do one decrease. Then we do a pattern of six single crochet stitches. and then another decrease. And we do that pattern of six single crochet stitches and one decrease for a total of three times. Then we finish with three single crochet stitches and a total of 38 stitches overall. For rows 12 and 13, we do one single crochet stitch in every stitch which means that for both rows we do 38 single crochet stitches overall. For row 14 we start with 10 single crochet stitches. Then we create a pattern of one increase and two single crochet stitches. We repeat for a total of two times, then we create one increase, and then we create 14 single crochet stitches, and then we repeat the pattern of one increase and two single crochet stitches for a total of two more times, and then we finish on one increase. Row 15 starts with 14 single crochet stitches. Then we'll create one increase stitch, followed by four single crochet stitches. After our fourth single crochet stitch, we place one increase stitch. And then three more single crochet stitches. Then we place one increase, followed by ten more single crochet stitches. After 10 single crochet stitches, we place an increase. 
and then the three more single crochet stitches. Then one more increase. And then four single crochet stitches. And we finish with one increase in the final stitch for a total of 50 stitches. For rows 16 to 19 you place one single crochet stitch in each stitch, meaning that each row is made up of 50 single crochet stitches. And once you've finished those three rows, this is roughly what your Winnie the Pooh head should be looking like. Row 20 starts with 18 single crochet stitches. And then we create one decrease. After the decrease, we create 27 single crochet stitches. Then you create one decrease and finish with one single crochet stitch. Row 21 is made up with six single crochet stitches. And then one decrease. And this pattern is repeated six times, leaving you with a total of 42 stitches. Row 22 is made with five single crochet stitches. And then one decrease. And you do this pattern for a total of six times which leaves you with a total of 36 stitches overall. Row 23 begins with two single crochet stitches and then one decrease. After which you create four single crochet stitches and then one decrease. You follow the pattern of four single crochet stitches and one decrease for a total of five times and then finish with two single crochet stitches leaving you with a total of 30 stitches overall. For row 24 you want to create the pattern of three single crochet stitches and then one decrease for a total of six times leaving you with a total of 24 stitches overall. Once you've completed that row, it's a good time to stuff most of the head, but don't worry about getting it absolutely full at the moment because we can add more stuffing in right before we finish sewing it up. Row 25, you want to start with two single crochet stitches and then one decrease. For a total of 6 repetitions, leaving you with 18 stitches overall. For row 26, you want to do 1 single crochet stitch and then 1 decrease. Repeat this pattern for a total of 6 times, which leaves you with 12 stitches overall. Now at this point, I just want to make a note that I would usually continue for one more row, which would be six decreases, but unfortunately at this point I didn't. So instead, just slip stitch into your next stitch and pull through and leave a nice long tail for yourself to be able to sew with. Add more stuffing here. And then we begin the sewing process, which to do this, I just put my needle through each of the front loops of each of the stitches that go around the circle 
and then this allows me a really easy process where I just pull on the tail and it closes up the hole. As I said, if you want to prevent this lo little hole that I was left with, I would do what I didn't and finish on a row of six decreases. So to secure your end, you want to push a needle through one part of my plush, and then I put it back into the same hole and push it to another part of my plush. And this means that the tail gets sort of wrapped up in the stuffing and that means that it won't come loose. And that's it, that's your finished Winnie the Pooh head before we put the little nose and the ears on. For the start of the body you're going to want to create another magic circle and then you're going to want to chain one and work eight single crochet stitches into the magic circle. For row number two, place one increase in each of the eight stitches for a total of 16 stitches overall. For row three, place one single crochet stitch and then one increase. For a total of 8 times, leaving you with 24 stitches. For row number 4, place 2 single crochet stitches and then 1 increase. And do this pattern for a total of 8 times, leaving you with 32 stitches. For row number 5, you want to start with 1 single crochet stitch, then 1 increase. And then you want to repeat the pattern of three single crochet stitches. And one increase. For a total of seven times. Finishing with two single crochet stitches. For row number six, you want to do four single crochet stitches. and then one increase. And you want to repeat this pattern for a total of eight times, leaving you with 48 stitches. For row number seven, you want to do five single crochet stitches. And then one increase. And you want to repeat this pattern for a total of 8 times, leaving you with 56 stitches. For row number 8, you want to start with 3 single crochet stitches. And then 1 increase. Then you want to create the pattern of 6 single crochet stitches. and one increase for a total of seven times. Finishing with three single crochet stitches for a total of 64 stitches. Rows nine to 17 are gonna be made by placing one single crochet stitch in each stitch, meaning that you've got 64 crochet stitches overall. Row 18 is going to be made with six single crochet stitches. and one decrease. And you want to repeat this pattern for a total of eight times, leaving you with 56 stitches overall. Row 19 is made up of one single crochet stitch 
in each stitch, meaning that you do a total of 56 single crochet stitches. Row 20 is made with 5 single crochet stitches, and then 1 decrease. And we continue this pattern for a total of 8 times, leaving you with 48 stitches. Rows 21 to 25 have one single crochet stitch placed in each stitch, meaning that you have a total of 48 stitches in each row. Row 26 is made up of four single crochet stitches. and then one decrease. And we repeat this pattern for a total of eight times, leaving you with 40 stitches overall. Row 27 has one single crochet stitch in each of the stitches, meaning that you do 40 single crochet stitches overall. Row 28 is made with 3 single crochet stitches and 1 decrease. With the pattern repeated a total of 8 times, leaving you with 32 stitches overall. Now's a good time to stuff most of the body, but we can always add more stuffing in later before we attach the head. Row 29 is made by placing one single crochet stitch in each of the stitches, meaning that the row is made up of 32 single crochet stitches overall. To finish off the body you want to slip stitch, chain one, and then leave a long tail before you cut off the rest of the yarn. And we simply pull through chain one and carry on to the next part. For the arms we're once again starting by creating a magic circle. Then we want to chain one and work six single crochet stitches into the magic circle. For your second row you want to place one increase into each of the six stitches, meaning that we double our numbers and create 12 stitches overall. For row number three you want to place one single crochet stitch, and then one increase. And you want to repeat this pattern for a total of six times leaving you with 18 stitches overall. For row number four, we have to place two single crochet stitches, and then one increase. Repeating that pattern for a total of six times and leaving us with 24 stitches overall. For row 5, we're going to make 24 single crochet stitches, but only in the back loops of each stitch. Don't put your hook into the front loop. Exclusively put it in the back loop for this row. If my explanation hasn't been clear, please do have a look at the video and notice where I'm placing my crochet hook for each stitch. For rows 6 to 8, we're going to place one single crochet stitch in each of the stitches, meaning that each row is going to be made up of 
24 single crochet stitches. For row 9, place 2 single crochet stitches and then 1 decrease around the row a total of 6 times, leaving you with 18 stitches overall. For rows 10 to 12, place 1 single crochet stitch in each stitch of the row meaning that all three rows are made up of 18 single crochet stitches. For row 13, place one single crochet stitch and then one decrease and repeat that pattern for a total of six times leaving you with 12 crochet stitches overall. Rows 14 to 16 are made by placing one single crochet stitch in each of the stitches around the row, meaning that each row is made up of 12 single crochet stitches. Now stuff the arm, leaving an empty space towards the top so that when we close it we can do a nice row of single crochet stitches across the top of the arm. Crochet through both sides of the row as if it's just one singular line instead of the circular row that we've been working. Chain one and leave a long tail for sewing before you cut off the rest of your yarn and pull through. Repeat the entire process so that you can create another arm for your adorable little plush. Create another magic circle for your legs, chain one, and work eight single crochet stitches into the middle of your magic circle. For row 2, place an increase in each of the stitches we already have, meaning that you create a total of 16 stitches. For row 3, place one single crochet stitch and then one increase. and repeat this pattern for a total of eight times, leaving you with 24 stitches. For row four, place two single crochet stitches and then one increase. And repeat this pattern for a total of eight times, leaving you with 32 crochet stitches. For row 5 you want to place 32 single crochet stitches exclusively in the back loops of each stitch. So once again like we did for the arms, we want to place each single crochet stitch exclusively in the back loop of each stitch. Rows 6 to 8 are made up by placing one single crochet stitch in each of the stitches, meaning that we make up the rows out of 32 single crochet stitches from row 6 to row 8. Row 9 is made up of two single crochet stitches. And one decrease. And you repeat this pattern for a total of 8 times, leaving you with 24 crochet stitches. For rows 10 to 12, 
we want to place one single crochet stitch in each of the stitches, meaning that rows 10 to 12 are made up of 24 single crochet stitches. Row 13 is made with one single crochet stitch and one decrease. And this pattern is repeated for a total of 8 times, leaving you with 16 crochet stitches. For row 14 you want to place one single crochet stitch in each of the stitches, meaning that the row is made up of 16 single crochet stitches. But as a note, if you want Winnie to sit a little bit flatter than he does in this pattern, you might want to do two more rows of this, because otherwise he tilts up slightly when he sits down. But it's all personal preference, I still think he's really cute. Leave your yarn attached while you're stuffing, because we're going to close this the same way that we closed the top of the arms. Just by creating a row of single crochet across the top of the circle treating it as though it's a single row of crochet instead of the circle that we've been working in. Chain one and pull through. And before you cut your yarn, leave a nice long tail so that you can sew with it. And of course you want to repeat the process for the other leg so that Winnie's got little legs to sit with. To create Winnie's snout we're going to once again create another magic circle. We're going to chain one and work four single crochet stitches into the circle. For row 2 we're going to place one increase into each of the 4 stitches we already have, for a total of 8 stitches. For row number 3 we're going to place one single crochet stitch, and then one increase, And we're going to repeat this pattern for a total of 4 times, leaving us with 12 stitches. For row number 4 we want to start with 2 single crochet stitches, and then 1 increase. And we want to repeat this pattern for a total of 4 times, leaving us with 16 stitches. For row number 5 we want to start by placing one single crochet stitch and then one increase. Then we create a pattern of three single crochet stitches and one increase and we repeat this pattern for a total of three times. Finishing with two single crochet stitches at the end of the row. For row six, you want to place four single crochet stitches and then one increase for a total of four times, leaving you with 24 stitches. For the final row of the snout you want to place 5 single crochet stitches and 1 increase. And we repeat this pattern for a total of 4 times, leaving us with 28 stitches. To finish off, you want to slip stitch, chain one, leave a nice long tail for sewing, and then pull through. For the ears, we're going to start by creating a slip knot instead of a magic circle. 
Then we're going to chain 7. For the first row you're going to be working into the back bumps. So in the second chain from your hook, you want to begin crocheting 6 single crochet stitches across the row. Once you reach the end, you want to chain one and turn your work. Begin in the stitch at the bottom of your chain one and start placing your six single crochet stitches that go across your row. Once you've reached the end of your row, chain one and turn. You want to skip the stitch at the very base of your chain one and then you want to create a decrease in the next two stitches. We're going to repeat the process, skip the next stitch and then in the last two stitches place one decrease. And if you want to get a nice smooth rounded corner, get the sort of little bob loop that's at the end of the row and that'll just make it a little bit smoother and a little bit more rounded instead of it seeming like a slightly angular part of your ear. Chain one and cut your tail to whatever length, it doesn't really matter, and just pull through to finish. And don't forget to create two ears for Winnie. Create a knot at the end of some black yarn to sew with. And you want to work from the top of the nose where you want it to be to the center of the magic circle and you want to keep pulling through those two holes to create the nose and if you want a wider nose you can move across more stitches at the top of the nose and keep going back into that center stitch before you attach your snout you just want to make sure that you're putting it on the tallest and flattest part of the face then to attach the snout you want to thread through the front loops and sew behind whichever stitch is possible on the head, really. And you just want to continue this process all around the snout. Once you're around midway through the attachment process, add some stuffing, but not too much so that the yarn looks strained. And then continue attaching your snout as normal. And once you're done with the attaching section, just secure your loose end as you would usually. And once you're done removing the yarn, this is roughly what your head should look like now that you've attached the snout. To attach the ears, you want to just sew the bottom row of the ears onto the head, through the stitches on the top of the head, basically wherever possible. You want to make sure that the body is fully stuffed before you attach the head. And then we can begin attaching the head by working similarly as we did to attaching the snout, which we want to work through the front loops of the top row of the body and thread your needle around stitches at the bottom of the head. And you want to repeat this process all the way around until your head is fully attached. And you want to once again secure your loose end by repeating the process of threading your needle through your body at random points. If you used a thread because the end of your tail wasn't long enough, just poke the end back in. Decide where you'd like the arm to sit and then work through each stitch at the top of the arm and sew into the available stitches on the side of the body. You just want to repeat that process along the top row of the arm and make sure it's fully attached. Secure your end as before. 
and repeat the process to attach the other arm. For the legs, you want to figure out where you'd like Winnie to be able to sit, and that's the way that you're going to be able to figure out what position you want the sewing to be at. And very similarly to how we did the arm, you just want to sew the top row of the leg to an available row on the body. Secure your tail as normal and then repeat the process to attach the other leg. And with that, your little Winnie plush should have all four of its limbs. To make the shirt, you should switch to the size hook that your label dictates for your yarn. Then create a slip knot and create 49 chains. Place your hook through both loops of your first chain as though you were working into a normal stitch and slip stitch to create a circle. Chain 1 and begin placing a single crochet stitch in each chain for a total of 48 crochet stitches. And to begin the second row, you just want to place your first crochet stitch of the second row into your first crochet stitch of your first row. From there, rows two to four are just going to be placing one single crochet stitch into each stitch for a total of 48 single crochet stitches. For row five, you want to place four single crochet stitches and then one decrease. And you want to repeat this pattern for a total of eight times, leaving you with 40 crochet stitches. Rows six to eight are made by placing a single crochet stitch in each of the stitches, meaning that all three rows are made with 40 single crochet stitches. For row nine, you want to place three single crochet stitches and then one decrease. And you want to repeat this pattern for a total of eight times, leaving you with 32 stitches. For row 10, we're gonna start by creating five chains, which will be our armholes. And then we want to skip four stitches and place our first single crochet stitch into our fifth one. This first stitch will be the first of 12 single crochet stitches. Then we want to again chain five, skip four single crochet stitches and place our next one into the fifth. Then we want to once again make 12 single crochet stitches. For row 11 you want to put four single crochet stitches around the chain and then place one single crochet stitch in each of the 12 single crochet stitches from the previous round. Then once again, we want to place four single crochet stitches around the chain. And one single crochet stitch in each of the 12 single crochet stitches from the previous row. To finish off, slip stitch, chain one, and pull through. You can cut the tail to whatever length you want, it doesn't matter.
To start the sleeves, attach your yarn to any stitch around the armhole. Then you want to chain one and you want to place a total of 14 single crochet stitches all around the armhole, placing your very first one into the same stitch as your chain one. I would recommend putting five single crochet stitches across the bottom and top of the armhole and then two single crochet stitches in each side. For your second row you want to start by placing your first single crochet stitch into the first stitch of your previous row. Then in the next stitch create one increase and you want to repeat this pattern for a total of 7 times, leaving you with 21 stitches. Rows 3 to 5 are made up by putting a single crochet stitch in each of the stitches, meaning that you make a total of 21 single crochet stitches. Slip stitch and chain one and pull through. Cutting off as much yarn as needed. Repeat process to create your other sleeve. And once you've done this, this is what your shirt should finally look like. Now you can use it to clothe Winnie, cause he's looking a little cold. For the last step of your shirt, join your yarn at any point through the top row. Then you want to chain one and place your first stitch into the same stitch as your chain one. The pattern you want for this row is to create two single crochet stitches, and then one decrease. And you want to repeat this process for a total of eight times which gives you 24 stitches overall. And to finish off, you'd want to slip stitch into the very first stitch from the same row, chain one, and pull through, cutting to finish off just a short tail so that you can sew it in. Use some black thread with a knot in it to begin sewing the face. I'm going to try and leave it to the explanations on the screen and also to the visuals on the screen because it's a little bit hard for me to explain what's going on and keep up with the video um, and also be clear. So hopefully that works and if not please leave any questions in the comments and I will try and get back to you to clarify anything that you might be having some trouble with. So I just wanted to clarify here that I've added some little white details to the eyes, which you'll see in the final reveal, and I hope you love him as much as I do, I think he's adorable. But yeah, I've added tiny details to the eyes, which are pretty easy to do, 
just sort of thread a tiny blobs in. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you love him, and I hope that everything was understandable enough. So if it was, please, you know, subscribe, like, leave a comment. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.